Hey Capricorns, happy June 2018. I hope you guys had a really good May. Um, as you guys already know, I offer an extended reading and I also do a summary at the end of this video. You can access both by going to the description box below. And let's get started with your June 2018 forecast. So I see June as actually being a pretty good month for you guys. I feel like you are starting to feel better, but you're also really not allowing yourself to feel as good as you can. It's like you guys are holding on to, you're holding on to something. And I think what you are holding on to is you're not able to let go of how things have been so that you can fully let in how things now are. So just how things work and this is you know nothing new like of course everybody lives through this but like sometimes we go through situations with people or just work or whatever it is and it just isn't working well but you've just been in this mode where people are talking to you in a certain way or your work like you just aren't performing or you're just not getting the results that you want or people just aren't appreciating you and it's been that way for a long time and because it's been that way for such a long time you are stuck, like you are stuck, not stuck, but you guys, this has just been your reality and so this is just how you expect things to be because they've just been this way for a while. And now things are starting to get better, but because you're so used to how things used to be, it's really hard for you to move on from how things used to be and fully let in how things are now. It's like you really, you want things to be better, but then you're always like, well, um, you know, people are appreciating me now, but that probably isn't going to last. Or, yeah, people are appreciating me now, but I'm not going to get too excited about it because that's just not how this group works. So good things are starting to happen, and I feel like things are starting to fall into place, and I think things are moving forward for you guys, so I'm very happy about that. But you guys are still holding on to how things used to be. Um, yeah, and you guys need to start trusting that things have changed. I think there's like a lack of trust about this new way that things are just because it's always been a certain way and so it's hard for you guys to trust and really let in all of this good that's coming your way and so um, you guys just need to work a little bit on trusting how things are now and forgetting how things used to be. And I think a scenario that is most likely occurring for you guys, just what I'm picking up is more of a dominant energy for Capricorns right now, is I think there's somebody in your life who isn't really appreciating what you guys have been doing. And you guys have been doing a lot for them. And yeah, they just really haven't been appreciating it. And you guys are just like so nice and so kind, just like kind of innocent in that, yeah, it hurts that they don't appreciate you, but you still, you try to brush it off and forget about it and then um, still try to just be there for this person, but they just haven't really been appreciating you and that's starting to really get to you, like it's starting to affect you more and bring you down at a deeper level than it has before. And it's not like they've been mean about the things that you guys have been doing or being like really unappreciative, it's more that they just seem like they don't really notice everything that you're doing. and. I think the reason why this person does that is, it may be, I see a few different reasons, so maybe it's different for each Capricorn that this resonates with, but I'm getting that something is holding them back, and it's either that they're not really sure how to show you that they appreciate you, and so they want to, but then they fall short because they don't really know how to even approach it, and then they just kind of... It's like they want to start, but then they just never actually make the move because they don't really know how, they don't know how it's going to be received. Something about it just makes them uncomfortable. And then for some others, and it may be a combination of both for you guys, for some others it just may be that they are a little bit scatterbrained. And I think they think about it, like they do appreciate you in their, in their minds, but then they just, they're just, See, it's like they don't, it's, it, to you, it's like they don't even notice what you're doing. And that's part of the scatterbrained side of it to where they do notice, but they just forget and get distracted by something else before they can ever really say anything to you about what you guys have done. And going back to the first part of this video where we talked about how things are changing and pieces are falling into place but you're not ready to trust that things are different just because they've always been one way for so long and that's what you believe 
that you believe that it will always be the way that it, it always has been. So this kind of ties into that as well. I think that that scenario, like the very beginning part where you're not ready to trust, I think that that may be a little bit bigger than just this one scenario with this person. But even in this scenario with this person, whenever they do show some kind of appreciation, you notice it, but then it's almost like, uh, oh, okay, that's cool. Wait, no, that was probably just a one-time thing or... You know, I'm just gonna act like I, I didn't I didn't hear that because I'm probably gonna get disappointed, you know, if I buy if I like really believe that they appreciate me. So I just might as well just be like, oh, okay, whatever, and just like move on with my day. So and just focus on what I need to do and not really take into account this one time that they've appreciated me. So there's a little bit of the trust factor there because you think that it might just be a one time thing that they're appreciating you and that that's it. And then things are just going to go back to how they've always been. And so you don't want to get too excited just to only end up being disappointed. And in the extended, we'll go into more detail on who this person is and why they aren't really appreciating you to the level that you guys should be appreciated. And then also what you guys can do to help build up that trust. Because that trust is going to hold you back. Like, yes, this person may disappoint you, but... You can never leave, like if you continuously think that things will always stay the same and then you continuously act as if things will always stay the same, you can't open up your energy channels and you can't open up the possibilities for things to actually transform. And things are actually already transforming for you guys. Like I feel like things are moving forward and the pieces are falling into place. So you want to allow that to continue to happen and not hold yourself back and stop the progress that's already being made. You want to let in these changes so that the changes will continue to happen versus you turning things around, making you turn and going back to how things used to be. And the thing that thing that you guys are worried about this month is really just just that is that you guys are worried that if you open yourselves up to these changes that you guys are going to be really disappointed. And I totally get it because yeah, like if you're really doing something and somebody doesn't really appreciate you, that really hurts. That hurts a lot. And you guys have really been trying to keep it together and not let that get to you, but it does. And you just feel like if you trust that things are changing and then it turns out that they're not, that you guys are just going to crash really hard. Because I think you guys have already crashed really hard because it does hurt and you don't want to fall back and crash again. But like I said, we'll talk about this in the extended to see um, why this person is being this way towards you guys what you guys can do to change that scenario, and then how you guys can be more trusting. And I think that just from what I'm getting right now, that when it comes to trusting, you need to be you need to be more big picture when it comes to building trust. Yes, this one person may not be somebody who is trustworthy in this respect, but for you guys, for you and your lives and your development, you need to think big picture across your life and just consider this person as just one aspect of your life. And yes, maybe they may disappoint you, but you need to be trusting. You need to open up your trusting channels so that you can bring in people who are worthy of that trust. And, you know, like this person is just one component, but there can be, you could, you guys could be allowing in a lot more people who deserve that trust and who would respect that trust and live up to that trust. But if you guys don't open those channels, you're just going to have this one person in your life who may or may not be worthy of that trust and then you won't have all these other opportunities of people to show you that yeah like you deserve trustworthy people in your life and yeah things have been changing and yes you've opened up your channels and good things are coming to you and falling into place so you need to think more big picture don't just think about this one scenario or like a work situation or whatever it is you need to think about your entire life and the trust that is there across and then that you can continue to bring in across all areas of your life. And the thing that you guys really hope for is that you don't get hurt, which makes sense in the context of everything else that we've talked about. So again, all that will be addressed in the extended. And yeah, I hope that this is helpful for you guys. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like this channel, go ahead and hit subscribe if you haven't done that already. And if you know of any Capricorns who are going through a similar situation, or you think that this would really help, please share this video with them. And now I'm going to go ahead and do the summary portion of this video. So again, no new information is going to be presented. So I will see you guys in the extended. If I don't see you guys there, then I will see you guys in my next YouTube video.
Hey Capricorns, welcome to the June 2018 summary portion of this YouTube video reading. So in June what I see for you guys is things are getting better, things are starting to fall into place. I feel like you guys are on an upward progression. The only thing though is that you guys are so used to how things have always been that you are not really letting in these changes that are coming into your life that are for the better. Because you're so used to how things have always been that when these changes come into your life and they're better, you have a hard time trusting them and you hold yourself back from really believing that things have changed because you guys worry that if you really believe that things have changed and then they haven't, that you guys will end up getting really disappointed and it will basically just crush you because in the past, you guys have been crushed before. And so I think that, that this is a scenario that's happening in an area of your life, but I think if there is a more specific scenario where this is happening, it has to do with a person who really just isn't really appreciating you guys as much as you should. And you guys have just been really nice and kind and just very generous with your hearts. And so even though this person hasn't been appreciative of you guys, you and it has hurt you, it really has hurt you and you it's really like crushed you, you try to brush it off and just continue to do what's right for the situation despite that and tell yourself that you don't need the appreciation and it's fine but it does really get to you guys and you guys do deserve the appreciation and I feel like this person is changing a little bit but again you guys aren't really trusting the situation you guys are feeling like you know when they do something when they do something where they when they appreciate you you think, oh, that's really nice, and then you stop yourself and say, oh, that was just a one-time thing, I'm sure. Like, I'm just not going to put any weight on it. I'm going to act like they didn't say that and just move on with my day because if I really believe that they're starting to appreciate me and then it turns out that they're not, like, that would just crush me and I don't want to go through those feelings again. And so, again, like, you guys are holding yourself back from really allowing in these good things. And the reason why, or there's a few reasons why this person may not be appreciating you, I think... I think in both cases, both reasons, the person actually wants to appreciate you, but like in the, so in the first case, the person really wants to appreciate you, but they're not really sure how to approach it. And so they want to start appreciating you, but then they stop. They don't even begin because they don't really know how to start. They don't know how it's going to be received and they just shy away from it. And then they just never really get to the part where they actually appreciate you. And then for others, the person really wants to appreciate you again, but they are a little bit scatterbrained and they kind of get distracted by something else and so they want to appreciate you and then their attention goes somewhere else and then they kind of forget and then they do remember but then it's like they just never really get around to it somehow so and then for some of you guys it may be a combination of the two um but in the extended we'll go into why the person isn't really appreciating you as much into more detail we'll also go into how you guys can open up your channels and allow in more of this trusting feeling because you guys need to be trusting on a bigger picture don't just think about this one person or this one scenario where you're withholding your trust because if you do that then you're withholding the opportunity to get trust from other people and other scenarios across your life because of this one scenario and this person or the situation may or may not actually deserve your trust but there are other people in other scenarios that do deserve it but they can't show up if you keep holding yourself back so you need guys so you guys need to think more big picture when it comes to trusting don't just make it about this person and what they've done make a big picture and make it about your life and what you want so um yeah that is the uh summary for this for this month for june um yeah i guess the other thing is that you guys are worried like i was saying that you guys are going to crash again and you guys hope that you won't get hurt and again, that will be addressed in the extended. So yes, this is the um, this concludes the summary portion of this video. If you guys like this video, please go ahead and hit like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Also, please share this video with any Capricorns that you know um, who this could potentially help. And I will catch you guys in my extended. And if I don't see you guys there, I will see you guys in my next YouTube video.